I don't think it's possible to create an AGI where human beings are in control and are in the driver's seat. In a recent interview, Charles Hoskinson talked about AI, AGI development, alignment, biases, and the danger of it being used for certain political agendas. And most of these things can be mitigated by developing AI and AGI in a decentralized way. So first, let's talk about how to align a developing AGI with humanity. And there are two main points Charles Hoskinson makes. First, that humanity doesn't even have aligned goals. We all have other goals and other thoughts about how to live, so we are not even aligned with ourselves. So it's a little bit silly to think that we could align a developing AGI with all of humanity. Listen to this. The other thing I think AI could be tremendously helpful for is we start with the end in mind of how we want to live, and we all agree on that, then we can score every one of these actions and proposals towards are we making progress to that particular end. Um, and then at least we have a collective uh, alignment. Um, until you get that collective alignment, it's kind of silly to talk about how do you align the interest of AI with the interest of humanity, because humanity's interest is not aligned with humanity. Humans aren't aligned. There, there's radically different views in society about what a good life is and, and how human beings should live. So how the hell are we going to go and tell an AI what is good and what's not good when we as humans can't even agree with that with ourselves? So we need to grow up a little bit. The whole alignment debate, it's completely forgotten to really ask alignment with what? Sure, developing AGI should, be, should have morals and ethics, but with what is it aligned exactly? Because again, humanity has vastly different goals and thoughts about how to live. So if we want to figure out a 100% rigid alignment for AGI right now, naturally many many humans would not be aligned with it. This is why it's much more important to not give a certain set of rules from the top down, but make sure that a developing AGI has intrinsic values from the bottom up. From the bottom up? Is that correct in this context? Uh, I hope you know what I mean and I hope it doesn't sound as weird as it sounds right now in my mind. Anyway, this is also something Ben Gertzel talks about a lot. That right from the start a developing AGI should be used for good. To naturally be aligned with human ethics, values and morals. Charles Hoskinson puts it like this. I don't think it's possible to create an AGI where human beings are in control and are in the driver's seat. Rather, they're going to be equal or greater than us, just like your children are. And so the best you can hope for is to raise them right and, get, and inculcate within them some set of values that are compatible uh, with, uh, with our values. With most definitions of the word AGI, and there are quite a few actually, we cannot be in control of it because otherwise it would not be an AGI by definition. And I really love the analogy of raising it right here, so that right from the start it is compatible with our values. And as of now it already looks like we are failing miserably here, because centralized developed AI, and in the future maybe AGI, already has strong biases and looks like it follows certain political agendas. If we want AI and developing AGI to benefit all of humanity, we need it to be unbiased. Or as unbiased as possible. It should always have a genuine curiosity and interest to understand others and also opposing opinions and points of view. Because otherwise it will always be biased toward a certain group of people or a certain political viewpoint and exclude other groups. What Charles describes here, for example, is deeply, deeply concerning. So I asked uh, Gem and I created some queries together and I said, hey, can you create some tables for me? I'm just in the United States want to understand all cause myocarditis uh, year by year. OK, I didn't say anything about vaccines or COVID or anything like that. I was just curious about these particular numbers. Well, Gem and I interpreted that as I'm an anti-vaxxer and said, oh, the vaccines are safe and effective and I'm not going to give you this data. And I'm just thinking to myself, my God, this alignment is so hardcore. Basically, a small group of people came in. I'm asking for the raw data so I can look at it, have a discussion around it, understand it, and we can start from a single point of view. But I'm not allowed to see that raw data. A group of people have already trained the model in a way to prevent me from seeing that data. 
And they can do that for anything. I can ask questions like, how much do the United States spend in Ukraine? Oh, the war in Ukraine is just, and the United States should be involved. I say, yeah, that's great, but how much did we spend relative to education or other things? I'm sorry, you don't get that data. So a government can coordinate with a small group of actors. They basically can train the AI, and the AI becomes the sole source of truth, and it deplatforms or delegitimizes anything else. And it's not the place of the AI tool to have a political agenda or opinion. It, the point of this is to help us answer questions or help us think and reason about things. And of course, it can be there to help correct cognitive biases and other things and point those out, but it doesn't get to decide what's right and what's wrong. We as humans should be in that driver's seat. The minute it crosses that threshold, it's no longer a tool. It's a political instrument, no better than what the KGB was and the truth ministries were, or these people. It's just of a different nature. So that does deeply concern me, and, it, and it's very clear to me if you look at what Microsoft is doing, what Google is doing, and OpenAI is doing, they are moving in a direction where there's a very particular political agenda in the alignment training, and they're hiding it under the auspices of AI safety. And, it, and you look no further than some of these AI safety sets. If you ask about a border wall between the United States and Mexico, they, it, they actually label that as a racist question. And people have identified the piece of code and the training for these things and the weight of that. So I, I guess even just a discussion of walls is now apparently off limits because of particular political agenda that uh, we have. What if it's an area with an enormous amount of gang violence and we just want to create a physical barrier and we're curious about the cost of doing that? Well, I guess that's racist according to this thing because some small group of people probably living in Washington or Oregon or Northern California in a beautiful area, not even close to the border, arbitrarily decided that. Now, that is the source of truth upon which the next generation, you know, Gen Z and Gen Alpha are going to be trained on and they're going to view that like the Wikipedia and that's the source of truth and it becomes propaganda basically to indoctrinate a generation. So I, I am deeply concerned, you know, about that side. I'm concerned about the historical coordination of the government and social media. We saw that when Musk bought Twitter and just how pernicious that was. And I'm deeply concerned that AI safety is being used as a buzzword to propagandize AIs to basically reinforce a government agenda. Whether that's a good agenda or bad agenda, it's it's still being there. That's not that's not good for society. So decentralization is nice because you get a mixture of opinions and then all that alignment gets counterbalanced by other opinions and you can at least get a diversity of thought inside a system instead of a, a thinking monoculture. It is not the place of the AI to have a certain political view or opinion and tell us what is right or wrong or what we should believe in. Like this, AI is turning into the strongest and best propaganda tool in human history. And how can we prevent that from happening? with decentralization, because if an AI is developed in an open, democratized and decentralized environment, we naturally have a diverse set of opinions and viewpoints. Theoretically, everyone can participate, so there is not one certain agenda that the AI follows. This is absolutely crucial if we want to develop an AI that is beneficial for everyone. And this is exactly why we need to step away from the centralized development of AI and AGI systems and push decentralized development forward. According to Charles, AI could be an amazing tool to give us more information and details about things, so that based on data we can form our own opinions and beliefs. Listen to this. What AI should do is be the annotator-in-chief. You know, so in the future, if I built a social network, I would say, okay, for this thing you've just seen, can we score it for bias? Can we authenticate that this is indeed uh, legitimate? You know, is it, and do we know the origin of it? Is anybody vouching for it? Can you see the web of vouching that's around this information? Is there money behind it, like a veracity bond, these types of things? So you never have a concept of naked data. You never have a concept of a naked story. Whatever you see, there's always community notes and context that are applied there. And what AI can do is help paint that picture real time and provide you a lot of metrics and statistics. But it's not prescriptive in that saying you should believe this or should not believe this. It just gives you the scoring and says that there are certain things there. Um, and then you can use that as a guide to help understand these things. And this would be an amazing use case. AI could collect all of this data and information relatively easy and then give us context without bias. Just the pure 
data. And then every single human being has the right to form their own opinion based on that. And if that opinion is Earth is flat, then so be it. In a democratic society, we have to accept that. We don't have to agree with it, but we have to accept it. And of course hope that most people will still believe that the Earth is round and not flat. And given that the AI will give us unbiased context of the whole thing, it's very likely or seems very likely to me that most people will not think Earth is flat. But what will always be an issue is suppressing opinions and telling people no, this is not allowed, you cannot think like that. Let's just say for example the government now decides to tell people, hey, you cannot say Earth is flat anymore. It's now forbidden by law. Well, what would that cause? It would cause a lot more people to say Earth is flat just out of reactance. Because we will not be told what to do or what to think. That's just human nature. The best way to deal with misinformation or false information is never suppression, but always the truth and right information. And the Earth is flat example is now a very obvious topic, but this is true for everything. And AI could really help us give unbiased context about whatever the societal issue of the day is. One more thing that Charles talks about is how we can prevent an AI from going rogue or how we can deal with a potentially rogue AI. And as a side note here, I think given everything else we have talked about in this video so far, uh, an AI going rogue is probably the least of our worries and the last thing we should think about. But still, listen to this. Analogously, the only way you're going to kill a rogue or bad AI or mitigate the damage it can do is to have a good AI that's capable of doing that. So you have to think around the ecosystem of these things. And, and so the genie's out of the bottle with respect to that. So it's less of a game of how do you make sure every single one of these things is controlled and fully aligned to how do we create an ecosystem of them and, and have some to help regulate the bad and then start with an optimizing function of where do we want the end state of humanity to be. In the long run, you probably cannot prevent this from happening. But what you can do is create a rich ecosystem with a lot of AIs in there that are all unbiased and all share human values and goals. And then the majority of those will help regulate AIs that are maybe bad actors. Which is again another reason why decentralization is so important. Imagine a decentralized internet of AI systems that are all interconnected and can communicate with one another and learn from one another. This is one of the visions of Singularity Net and the ASI Alliance. And like this, AIs could also regulate themselves or regulate each other. But for all of that, it is essential that developing AI and AGI systems are aligned with human values from the, the bottom up. Again, I hope it's the right context. Anyway, just like we talked about before, they should be open-minded and always be genuinely curious about where a person is coming from or maybe a different AI. And I have talked about this extensively in another video right over here.